G'day, can you solve this easy percentage question in five seconds or less? 16% of 25. All right, go. So time's up. Did you get the answer of four? If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, well, I'll tell you what, you know right now I'm going to show you how to work out this particular type of percentage question. And it's really easy. 16% of 25. Not that nice, but I can flip this around and I can end up with 25%, okay, of 16. And you can see all I've done there is I've flipped these numbers around. 25% of 16, a quarter of 16, nice and easy, equal to four. A quarter of 16 is four. Okay, so why does this work? You might remember when you were doing your times tables as a kid, the commutative law. And what this essentially meant was that six times three is equal to three times six. It doesn't matter what order you do that multiplication in, it gets the same answer, and the same holds for percentage. The commutative law holds for percentages. So 16% of 25, not so nice. 25% of 16, ah, heaps easier. So what about we have a look at a few more examples of these, and you give them a go. First one we're going to try is 48% of 50. I think you should be able to give that one a go. The next one we'll give you is 60% of 75, and the very last one that I'm going to give you is 44% of 150. Okay, and I think what you could do is you could pause the video if you want to give these a go. And if you like this trick, or you currently use it, what about you slam down hard on that like button and subscribe for more math tricks. Hey, and you could even consider becoming a patron. That'd be uh, really, really appreciated. Anyway, enough of my shameless self-promotion. Let's get to the answers here. So 48% of 50. We can flip this around and we can say, okay, instead of this, we want to deal with 50% of 48. So what's 50% of 48? Well, 50% is just half, isn't it? So half of 48, the answer, a nice and easy 24. Okay, the next question, 60% of 75. Okay, so let's flip that around. Maybe you don't mind 60% of 75, but let's try 75% of 60. Okay, so 75% is the same as three quarters. Not a bad one to know. So if you know that three quarters, what's one quarter of 60? One quarter of 60 is 15. So three lots of 15, three quarters of 60, the answer is going to be 45. How'd you go on that one? Okay, lucky last, we have 44% of 150, which is the same as 150% of 44. Okay, so how would you go ahead and do this? Well, 150%, well, this is one and a half times, okay? One and a half times as big. So what is one and a half times as big as 44? Well, half of 44 is 22, so one and a half times as big as 44, the answer is going to be 66. And there you go. I hope you got that. I just put it in to show you how this trick can be extended. And there you go. A nice, easy math trick, like I promised. Anyway, that's all for this video. Do you want more percentage tricks? Well, I have plenty of them here at the Tech Math channel. Check out the links in the description below. As usual, if you like this trick, give the like button a bit of a poke, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me that I sound like the shark of Finding Nemo or something like that. That never gets old, right? Remember, fish are friends, not food. A big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in my description if you wish to support my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time.